Hi, Michael, yeah? Thought I should just answer a couple of more questions, more personal questions. Tigers are taking over my life, but I do have a personal life as well. And I thought, well, let me answer a few more personal questions. <laughs> Well, I was born in 1974 on the 11th of September. My birthday was two days ago. And my mom told me the story. She said, well, you were born between three and four during visiting hours. She had some cramps the previous day. And she thought that I was going to get born. She phoned my grandma on my father's side. And they went to the hospital. When they got there, they asked her if she will be able to walk upstairs. She said yes. And by the time she got upstairs, I was born. <laughs> so there was no problem whatsoever. It was such an easy thing. She explains it to me that I've never been in any trouble. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Growing up, we were just a normal family. Uh, I've got a brother and my mom and dad and we grew up in Springs that is a little town just a little south of Brackpan and uh, we had a normal house uh, it's quite small if I go past it now it's ridiculously small but it's it was home and we had a big yard and we had animals uh, I remember my first cat 1979 got that cat Parkat that means father cat and he never had a name for 21 years I never gave him a name but eventually when he passed away we just know him as Parkat so uh, yeah that was the first real animal or pet that I had back then I had some little dogs and things before that, but that was when I was not really able to remember everything. I was still very little back then, but always had pets. We had a couple of dogs, and uh, yeah, we had a normal household. Uh, that's my lot of dogs going crazy now. I don't know why, but they do that once or twice a day. <laughs> dogs are much more of a problem than anything else. And it seems like Anneli is going to be on the next YouTube video. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this is Jackie's sister. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Welcome, happy birthday, Sid. <laughs> She's coming to say happy birthday to me. So, yeah, she just walked in on the right time. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. <laughs> many, many more. Ah, my donkey. So Fichetia. With YouTube, the yellow battle, the Hi, whole YouTube. world. Hi, the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even have seen. Okay. <laughs> I think she got a total surprise. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, and well, I was born in in '74. Makes me 43 years old. Let me just like switch to my other arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing a little bit <laughs> and yeah we grew up we had a lot of animals mostly dogs and cats a uh, bird here and there uh, always had between well later on between 10 and 20 animals and uh, yeah we grew up like that we uh, Every night, I remember as children, we were watching all these American TV shows of heroes, you know. So that was our role models. We were actually watching TV shows that inspired us all the time. I think it's totally different from the TV shows that you get nowadays. Uh, but that really made an impact on us. You know, we thought that that was the way to live. And I think we were a little... Uh, I won't say brainwashed, but I think we were we were trained to really have all those heroes in our lives. You know, I don't I want to don't want to name names, but um, 
I'm sure if you go and look at the 80s TV shows, you would see exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. So I remember going to school in the morning and we had one TV channel. Everybody watched that show. The whole school was crazy about those shows. So that was great. We loved it. I think the choice that we have today is making it a little bit more difficult for people to find themselves uh, because there's such a big variety and back then we didn't really have such a big variety uh, but I think it was it was um, decided on what shows we are supposed to watch you know, and the superheroes uh, I, I was crazy about that uh, all, all, all those um, figurines uh, you know, if there was a new figurine that came out, that was, that was for me, that was my life. That was amazing. Um, we used to go to the, to, the, to the cafe to play games. You know, every night we would, we would get on our bicycles, we would drive there. Um, six o'clock, seven o'clock, we played five games on the arcade machines, heading back home, and it was great. Uh, eight o'clock, we were asleep, and we woke up the next morning, we still had buses going back then, able to go to school on the bus. Um, school was not very nice. We did not like school at all. Uh, we were being beaten a lot. <laughs> so uh, we had to do our homework, and if you did not do your homework, you would get a hiding. And it was very strict. Uh, um, I think the older South Africa was very strict for us. They were. Um, yeah, we, we, we didn't want to go to school at all uh, and that was probably one of the worst places to be but they did give us a good education uh, and they taught us a lot of things I think today people are not being told the basics I think people should go back to the basics it just becomes too much if you only want to specialize in something and you don't really get the opportunity to learn the smaller things. Um, yeah, we played rugby in school. I wasn't really a good rugby player. I think I was concerned about not damaging myself. Because I've seen so many people got hurt by rugby and motorbikes, for instance. So I avoided those things. And uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, I loved motorbikes. And I had a little 50cc motorbike. But I, my dad told me I'm not allowed to drive it in the street. So um, that was where it ended. And uh, he told me, if you drive this motorbike in the street, on Saturday we're taking it apart. So, yeah, that was a very, uh, very, how can I put it, uh, strict way of controlling your safety. And we didn't know what it meant back then. Now I do. And... Uh, I'm glad that it happened like that because I've still got my arms and legs. Okay, what's the point if I've got to put them in by a tiger? I know, but <laughs> at least I still got them all. Yeah, that's a couple of questions or opinions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just telling people about everything that, uh, that's happened in my life. I'll be making more vlogs to cover it all. It takes a bit of time uh, getting through everything, but yeah, I had quite a good children's life, I would say. I really enjoyed it. Bicycles, skateboards, all those things, and the American TV shows. That was very important in, in our lives. Well, I've got to go. Leave some comments. Give me a couple of questions. I'm going to make these. I don't have a script or anything. I'm just telling a story. Here. And I hope to, to answer a lot of questions. That's it. Have a good day.